a tremendously sad day, actually a tremendously sad week for Wayne County. You know, we're burying one of our uh, long-serving and, and, and great commissioners today, and obviously the surprise with Benny's death is, is really significant. What, what is Benny's legacy? I mean, what, did, what does Benny leave behind as the mark? Well, I mean, several things stick in my mind. One is just the consummate Detroiter with the love of Detroit. Uh, an extensive uh, law enforcement background in many different capacities. In fact, our careers have kind of mirrored each other along the line, and we both served as police chief, we both served as sheriff. And, uh, you know, just the, the kind of person the kind of person I'd always want in a dispute resolution. Always affable, always smiling, but always serious. And, you know, anywhere you go in the city of Detroit, people say, hey, Benny, not out of disrespect for his office, but out of a real warmth for, if you feel like you know him. You feel like you've known him a long time. What about in terms of, of things he did? Is the jail kind of, getting that jail over the, over the threshold, I mean, he won't be there to see it open, but I mean, that's that's kind of big, isn't it? Or... It is. He, great cooperation. I mean, that that work of building that complex comes out of the county executive's office, but certainly we need the help and the support of prosecutor, sheriff, those who are going to be big time entities there. Yeah, always been helpful. The one thing that always stands out to me about uh, Sheriff Napoleon is he could always wear the two hats. One is he could be a separate elected official strong in doing what it was he needed to do for the sheriff's office, but he also understood there's a, there's a Wayne County executive and there's only one pot of money, and I'm going to try to work with you to get stuff done. And when you have that cooperation at both ends, uh -huh. you, you can be successful. Not every elected official has figured that out. One of the things that the, count, the, the commissioners have said to me is that he was the kind of guy that if he would, you know, hit the guardrails or bump into something or get into a budget issue or management issue, he would adjust. He would change course if, in fact, it became an issue and that he would work with them. Mm -hmm. um, is, is that kind of a hallmark as well? Yeah, I, I think that's true. Uh, I think he was always one of those people that said, at the end of the day, we need to wind up inside this box. But I'm not going to micromanage what spot in the box we get there. If we get there, collectively because I have to adjust a little for the overall good. Uh, he was that kind of guy, and I think that's what you're saying. Yeah, and and so, I, I, I mean, I don't know, I, Ike McKinnon said that the city's poorer today, the, the county's poorer today as a result of his passing. I, I, I wholeheartedly agree.